Uh, you want me to share, right? No, you can share. You can share. You can share. Yeah, let me know, sir, if you can see my screen. Yeah, I can see your screen. So first, I will show you my blanket purchase agreement. Okay. They created. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, one agreement I created. Oh. This is my with my uh, standard item. Can you open the agreement now and click on the one not one the link? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, one second, one second. You go there and then uh, it is now having one minute. Whenever you make an agreement, always give a start date. Now find that is very very important because uh, agreements okay. are governed by the uh, dates. Basically, at least start date is a must if you are going to automate it. Actually, right? that is one thing. Okay. Uh, you are not going to do a start date. Uh, released amount is zero zero, and then until now nothing is there actually. Fine. Yeah, nothing is there. I have not given any delay because nothing is released. Yeah, nothing is released. Now fine. Now uh, can you go and then uh, click on the details icon on the right hand side, the last one. Click on the details. Uh -huh. icon. I have given same like uh, the two price breaks. Line one, you have got uh, given two price breaks of hundred and one. So it is on a P ninety uh, nine lock one now. Fine. P ninety nine lock one. The other yes. is P ninety nine one now. So you are given two price breaks. Okay, go up slightly. <clears throat> up slightly. So allow price override is there. You are given a cumulative price. Item description release amount is still now zero zero. So one not one is the one. Fine. And then I can can you close this? And then I can you go to the controls of it? Click on done. Click on done. And mm -hmm. then can you show me the controls of it? Now fine. Click on the controls. <clears throat> In the controls, we have the P99 business unit available here. Now, fine, automatic uh, uh, generate orders, automatic uh, submit for approval. Everything is enabled actually. Fine, that is mainly important now. So, automatic generate orders and automatically this thing is there. Fine, go there. So, uh, can you show me the item again? Fine, go down. Click on done and then come out of it. Click on done and then go down. <clears throat> go down. And then the item is what? Uh, item, sir. Item will come here. The, let me copy. Click on this. Go down. This is the item. Yeah. Okay. P99 underscore STD item. Okay. Fine. Good. Now, can you go to the configure uh, procurement business function? Now, fine. This is all perfect. Now, fine. There is no problem at all. Fine. Click on done and then come out of it. Now. You go to the configure procurement business function. <clears throat> there is setup, sir. Yeah. Go to the setup. Search and then configure procurement business function. Configure procurement business function and go and click on it and then query for it now. <clears throat> configure procurement business function. Okay, fine. Choose your view and click on OK now. <clears throat> hi, Nana. Yeah, hi. Who is this? Surya. Yeah. yeah. You are not given the buyer. Buyer must be, buyer is a must for automation actually. Buyer must be specified either on the item level or on the configure procurement business level or on. Uh, your assignments, no, fine. Your uh, I forgot about one assignment is there. Fine. In, uh, those things in the buyer assignments, yes, buyer assignments. So buyer assignments or configure procurement business function or item, it must be there. Then only what happens? It can be automated. Otherwise, automation. Yeah, go down. Yeah, I have to give sir buyer. Yeah, yeah, give the buyer now. Fine. Now you one ah, second. Yeah, yeah. Go down. Go down. No, no, one, one second, one second, one second. You, you allow me to go on and see. Fine. You go there and then what happens? You have to auto generate orders has to be enabled. Now. Where is that, sir? Auto generate. But why are not watched my video? I have explained everything clearly. Fine. Please don't forget it. Fine. Okay, yeah. this one, sir. Auto generate order. Mm, yeah, yeah. For the requisition of it. Now you give a save now. <clears throat> save and close. Now you go there and then uh, go for the automation now. Fine. Now again, I have to create a new B BPA. No, BPA is already there, nah? Fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, In the requisition, what happens? You can now see that your BPA will be coming up. Fine. Where exactly you're not getting the one not one? In the, I'll show you some, one second. Where you now you'll get it now. In the purchase requisition, what happens when you create a new purchase requisition? You can now see it will now get automatically converted to PO now. You create no, one, 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 I just put it here. Yeah, it will come. So, here shop by category is not the correct way, actually. This is not the correct way. So, this is mainly no, no, for so only, I think when I ch check here, but this, there is not the correct area actually. Pi two, you just give the requisition number and then it. Yeah, came. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. But that is only for the self service procurement. The shop by category will be coming now. Actually, uh, it is not for this. Maybe you have to. What happens? It may come. Uh, why don't you do the uh, sign out and sign in now? Fine. 
you come out sign it on sign i think we have to create and because the settings we have changed now right only automation settings we have changed you know fine it has to come now click on sign in now sometimes what happens when now you make any changes it needs uh, signing in again it is your company's uh, login now Uh, no, no. I took uh, some uh, from uh, one of the Hyderabad Institute, the private cloud server, because every time that instances were getting refreshed, so I wanted to practice all the three models at a time. Mm. So this is a private cloud instance I have taken. Okay. They are reliable, huh? How much they are charging? Five thousand per month they are charging, sir. Oh God, it's very expensive. Mm. Very expensive, yeah. no again go there go to the purchase requisition procurement right you are going where this now fine this is not a correct way there are simple methods of going there and if you have the desktop icons on the springboard what happens yeah springboard right now you have to customize this right yeah screen the screen is customized what happens cannot be so and click on the purchase requisition <laughs> Now you go for one more one, and make sure that it comes. One not one, and I have one one more. Yeah, one second. Then no, no, actually the issue was they want to create code for automatic publish setup by means of BPA, correct? Yeah. No, he first of all wanted to see the one not one is not visible here at all. One not one and one not two also is not there. Just keep the expense search. Expense, expense search, expense, expense search. No, nothing is right. Right with that. Okay. Nothing is okay. Now we will now go and then create a requisition and then try to populate this. No, fine. Go there. Click on. Oh, go. Oh, you go to the requisition area. In the requisition, you know, sir, that only contract purchase agreement will come. BPA oh, will no, not no, come. No, no, no. It will come because what happens? The page has to be customized actually. If you customize the page, we can very well get everything now. Right? We can very well choose the BPA also. Okay. And the page needs to be customized. Actually, you added the category in this particular of the particular item. Yes, yeah. shop by category is coming. That category may not be there. The shop by category. That's why I don't no, know. Here it is. There something is the recent purchase. I don't know what is this. Uh, the standard item is there. Uh, you can uh, click on the recent purchases. No, fine. Okay, fine. You go to the requisition line. I will tell you what how to do that. Requisition lines. Uh -huh. And then this page needs to be customized actually. Fine to bring the BPA over here. No, fine. If you don't have a self-service procurement license, what do you will do? You cannot query here at all. Okay. This query is only for the what's called your. Uh, Self service procurement area, and mm -hmm. then if you don't have, you have to populate your BPA only on the requisition lines. Okay. But you know about how to customize the page. Fine. Here agreement is coming. First of all, you have to choose the BPA now. Fine. There is one more line which is hidden actually here. Fine. I will teach you about how to do that now. Fine. Mm -hmm. One more line is now hidden. Fine. So uh, that high, that line will now put the BPA over here. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Here, here BPA, sir. Yeah, no, no, no. There is one more line which is hidden now. We have to bring it by a form personalization now. Uh, okay, I okay. not see. Please take notes of each and everything. Otherwise, what happens? It will be very difficult now. So no, I, that is not there in this video, sir. I checked there. Uh, I that think. video is not there, but there, there is uh, some other video I have done. It. So, uh, okay, control okay. now. I will not show it you. Fine. I will not take control from you. One second. I will not request for control. Request remote control. Fine. Can you give the control to me? Yes, sir. Given now. Okay, fine. So let me go on and do it now for you. <clears throat> so here, what happens? I have to go to what sandboxes now. Fine. So manage sandboxes. Let me create a, a new sandbox for you. Manage sandbox, and then here, what happens? I will create a new sandbox. So that sandbox only. What happens? We can customize this now. Fine. Manage sandboxes now. Yeah. It is now going. <clears throat> so here, what happens? I will now give a plus now. Fine. Uh -huh. I will now say the name of the sandbox is what? It's a Springboard customization. Yes, B underscore one. I am making it now. Click on save and close now. And then I will now make it what? I am now making this now. Springboard customization, <clears throat> and then I will now activate this sandbox also. So once when the sandbox is created, we had to activate it. This all all discussed. Fine, we had discussed it, and then in some other videos, not on this main videos directly. And so mm -hmm. so that's why what happens when you go through everything, you take notes of it. Fine, how to page customization? Page customization has been taught in the beginning itself. On your on the main screen, whatever I have taught it. Because in the uh, shop by category. Only when the self-service procurement is there, what happens? It will be all be done. Fine. There is some other uh, what happens? A role has to be given. Then what happens? You will be getting the one not one and all. Fine. Some role is required, and then some data access is required. So if that is not there, what happens? You will not be getting anything on this now. Fine. Mm -hmm. so now what happens? I am not creating a sandbox now. So once the sandbox is created, 
what happens i will now activate the sandbox and then i will now enable this particular uh, uh, what happens entry over there now <clears throat> you have to choose either the bpa or cpa yeah <clears throat> so the field also what happens you see to that you are enabling that now hosting a long time <clears throat> And then once when the sandbox gets activated, uh, we can now go on and customize the page for visibility of the BPA CPA one. So by default, what happens is not showing the CPA. So that is what happens. You are able to see query only the CPA. So once when you make a change, what happens? You can even see the BPA also. Oh, okay. Let me try to stop my record now. Alt R. Yeah, it's not getting stopped. Okay, you now got it. Now find what else. So uh, now sandbox has been created. Frank, click on OK. Now fine. Let us activate the sandbox. So here the sandbox will be there. So sandbox name is what? Uh, SB. Go down and then see. If it will be SB one. One second. SB one. We have to enable it now. SB underscore one. We are given now. Yeah. SB underscore one. So many sandboxes are here now. Are you able to see this, my friend? Can you scroll from your side because what happens is it's slow for me. Can you scroll up and then down and then see? Last one. The top and then make a query now, fine. Somewhere it is there. So yeah, S B and then make a query now. S B underscore one underscore one and then query it now. S B underscore one and then make a query now. It is not showing you. The published sandboxes only. Ah, oh, where is it? Go down and we'll see. Oh, SB underscore one itself. There are plenty there. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> last one, I think. Yeah, yeah, fine. SB underscore one. Go there and then activate it. Go up, go to the top. Go to the okay. top. And then what happens? You go to the top. You go to the top again. The left, ne next one. Yeah, go to the top uh -huh. and then activate. Pub, uh, publish. Set as no, no, no. Set as active. Oh, okay. We have to. We should not publish it now. Fine. We have to set it as active. Now I will tell you what, and then automatically can now start to do this. Nothing. Click on it. So the sandbox will be coming at the top now. Uh -huh. Yeah, my sandbox. Okay. sandbox is coming up. Fine. Now what happens? You again open the page. Again open the requisition page. Now sandbox is active actually on the left hand side, top. Again open the page now. Open up your acquisition page. And then you go, now page is open, now fine. So here, what happens, uh, you put some item over here because there are some mandatory fields are there, fine. Put some item over here now and give a tab now so that the mandatory fields are filled up actually. Uh -huh. And then only what happens, you can customize it actually. The mandatory fields are not filled, what happens, it will not be possible to customize it actually. Yeah, choose something. Now you can see the category name, item description, price, everything will be coming now. Yeah. Oh, your mission is very slow. Go there. Okay. Now uh, go okay and then make it as a supplier. Make it as a supplier. Okay, fine. Go there. And then here, what happens? You can now see uh, the price is absent actually. Fine. Once again, you put the price over there of someone. One. Now, see all the mandatory fields are fill, filled now. Okay, fine. Are yes. you able to see? Fine. All the yes. left hand side, all the mandatory fields are filled. Now, right. you go to the top and then click on the. Uh, no, 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 no. You see, you are able to get it. So now we are when you are putting a supplier, it is coming. That means what the field is coming only when you make the source as a supplier actually. Right. So the source may be missing actually in your place. That is why when you put it, what happens? Uh, uh, the agreement type is coming now. That field is now coming actually. Yeah, previously that agreement type was not there, no, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, what happens? We had to customize that field and then bring it over here. Now, when you put that as a supplier, it is coming actually. When you put a supplier, it is coming, but the source type may not be. No, no, no. Previously, also when the supplier, when I there was a supplier, uh -huh. this agreement type was not there. Not there at all. Okay, fine. We will not try to bring it over here. One second, one second, one second. Okay. Uh, uh, we will not try to customize the page now. Fine, go there. So click on the top now. Fine, left hand side top. You are in a P. No, uh, right, uh, right hand side. Right hand side top. On the right hand side top P. You click on the P now. Fine, click on this P and then edit pages. Click on the P. 
drop down. Yeah. And then click on edit pages. Edit pages. Uh -huh. So we will now see whether uh, we are able to edit it or not. The agreement type has to be written, then it was not coming. It now counted the edit page. And then left hand side top, you click on the view now. In the uh -huh. left side, click on the view and then go to the source now. Go to the source now. Okay, now you go down and then, okay, uh, you give me the control, I will not do it. I'm sorry. I'm not you have it. the control, I think. So. Yeah, yeah. I so just watch how I'm doing it now. In the bottom, what happens, you'll be having one double line actually here. So I had to go down. One second. Still going. So here, what happens, I will not press the double line up in the top. Uh -huh. So here, uh, we have to see your, this thing is what? Uh, your uh, uh, agreement type. Agreement type. No, fine. Agreement type. So we have to first of all edit. Fine. I'll not click on the edit. So once when you click on it, what happens? It goes to edit mode. Fine. Click on edit now. Fine. No edit. So we have to see the agreement type here. Fine. On the left hand side. So uh, you can just scroll down and then see uh, the agreement type. Agreement type is yes, sir. Select one of one choice agreement type. Where is this actually? This uh, one, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is one. Fine. You you click on the edit icon on this now. Okay. On this edit icon, fine. I will not click Show on the it. properties of the agreement type. Okay, the properties of agreement type. Yeah, yeah, just click on it. Show the properties of the agreement type. It you want me to click that? Yeah, you click on it. You click on it because for me, for me, it's slow actually. So that's why yeah. I'm not clicking on it. So for you to be fast. So click on the edit icon. And then we have to make it as visible actually. Once when you make it as visible, uh, now it's coming, but uh, it has to be made as visible actually. So the selection choice agreement type that has to come now, that has been made as visible now. Yeah, by default, I think it is a contract purchase agreement. That is why it is not coming in the list. Yes, exactly. So once when it is visible, what happens? You'll be able to choose the BPA there. Actually. Yeah, yeah. You have to make it as visible now. Oh, Rakal also has done. <laughs> you please watch each and every video of mine. Somewhere I have explained it. I not. I don't know where exactly I explained it now. In some videos. Afterwards, I brought it actually in one of the videos. Please, uh -huh. you must have time to watch each and every video. Yeah, I was going through a sequence, so maybe. So go down, go down. <clears throat> Show required. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Do only whatever I'm saying now, fine. So put a tick mark on the visible now. The bottom, put a tick mark on the visible. No, put a tick mark, I told you. That is not coming, sir. Took tick mark. Oh, it's not coming. Okay, fine. Now here, what happens? You drop down the visible. Now, once again, drop down the visible. And then click on the expression builder. Click on the expression builder. The expression builder. And then here, what happens? Uh, there is a there is a conditionality is there. You remove the conditionality and then make it as true. Now. Fine. You remove the complete conditionality. The, the oh, so this is? Yeah, you remove it now. Remove it. And then make it as a right true. No, 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 right true there. T R U E. T R U E. <clears throat> and then click on OK. I don't know whether it will accept the capitals or not. Fine. Whether click on it. If it accepts, what happens? It will be allowing you to put a, what happens, a tick mark there. No, no it's not accepting it. So uh, it's a, what happens? A referred is unexpected attribute for visible. Fine. Uh, T R U E. Fine. You write it. No. How, 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 all how are small. Copy? All are small. All are small. You write all are small. Everything is small. Have you copied that spec or you want to make it as usual? Otherwise, no, no, it will work. It will work. Okay, fine. Click on okay now. Fine. Click on okay. It will work. Okay. It will work now. Just see. It will accept it. Now you put a tick mark on the visible. Now, fine. It is not done. Fine. So yeah. that is not done. Now it will be visible for you. Fine. This is the way you will do it now. Fine. Make it as a true and then do it now. Fine. Click on apply and then click on okay now. Click on apply and then click on okay. And that's it. Fine. You yeah, now complete the, the customization. Now. You complete the customization. <clears throat> It is now made as visible now. Go there. Go to the right hand side top now. And then here, what happens? We give, uh, we have to, uh, no, they give a close in the top now. Fine, there is one close. Yeah, close. That's it. You yeah, are not done it, fine. Now you change it to what happened? The CPA, you change it to BP also. The make one second, one second. Make a change to BP and then see whether 101 is coming or not. Fine. So click on it. 101, if you give it, if you give a tap, 101. <clears throat> 101 and then tap, it will come. It will come. 101. It's coming. Oh, that one is coming. Okay, click on OK. Now, what you have to do is you give it done and then come out of it now. <clears throat> we are now customized to make it visible now. Fine, that is what else. So, <clears throat> give it done <clears throat> the top. 
give it done on the top you are not adding it to cart now so give it done and then now you go to the left hand side click on your sandbox we have to publish the sandbox now only we have to publish the sandbox then click on it and the left hand side click on it and then here what happens you publish the sandbox click on more now click on more now click on more and then we have to publish the sandbox so this change of visible will be available for you now fine click on publish now <coughs> and here again what happens uh, we have to do the editing of the configure sandbox for con configuration basically <coughs> please watch me first and second videos now <coughs> that will teach you more about the sandbox being enabled for what happens uh, this particular activity now this is now basically coming as a published one fine now log out and log in now log out and log in now we have completed the what happens uh, the customization of the page with the visibility for the particular one now every video will have some information or other what happens i would have given not exactly at the time but afterwards also right? yes, just that and then what happens you do it now you go to the requisition form and you will be able to see that field coming up now this is the uos instance or somebody has put the uos logo on the left hand side now <laughs> looks like uos has procured and then some institute is also Hmm. We'll try here, sir. It will not come right here. You no, know, you no, know, no, 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 no. You go to the more task and then go to the requisition line. That is where we wanted to check. Now, fine. Where we want to check that that is the thing which you had to check. Now, fine. Go to the enter requisition line. And then you put your item over there on the left hand side. You will now see. You will be able to see that what happens. The agreement type will be coming up on this page. Right. That is what we worked on. Now, huh? fine. <clears throat> we work on customizing the visibility of the agreement type now <clears throat> that is what you are going to check now when the agreement type is coming you see when you go to yes, yes. so make that as a true in a small letter remover right? yeah yeah now the change the agreement okay fine make it the supplier now Make it a supplier. The source type of supplier on the right hand side. Why the price? No, 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 no. Source type as a supplier. Yeah, supplier, yes. Source type as a supplier now. Yeah. Now you put the no, 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 no. Price or price? No. You already negotiated the price. Why are you putting the price now? Fine. Put the BPA now. Fine. Put the BPA. BPA will not bring the prices now. Oh. Okay. You already negotiated the price now. Fine. Please yes, sir. You have to understand the concepts clearly. Now price will be grayed out. No, what happens? You put the quantity of one not one now. Fine, go there. Put the quantity of one not one. You are given a discount now. Fine, the discounted price has to come now. Yeah, nine nine then it should come. So, something you have entered there. What happens? It is not accepting that order. Fine, give it done and then come out of it now. You have made. You have put something again. Can you go to the requisition line? And then after the item, you have to populate the BPA only. Now, fine, go there. It should not come like this now. Fine, it has to pick up the BPA's price actually. Fine, you go for two not one and then check. Go and then make a two not one and then uh, and then give it up now. Fine. So you put your hand on the price. What happens? It is now giving you a lot of problems. Now. Give it done and then come out of it. Now you do in a very systematic manner. Now sometimes what happens? It cannot be working properly. Again, go to the more task. No, 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 no. See, we are yeah, yeah, yeah. something and then uh, why you are going here and there? We are testing something now. Find that one. One. You put the item over here. <clears throat> After populating the item, what happens? You put the BPA number. The BPA has to bring the price automatically. that is what is expected actually okay fine make the source type as a supplier and then put the bpa number now the price has to come automatically you know see whether it comes or not so is it can you see the price has to come oh god the price is still not coming so the price has to come now i don't know what is the mistake there now fine you put the price manually there You put the price. Okay, fine. Could the point is one not. One second. Uh, no, let no, me try with the no, other item. This is not the item actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is also the item. No, no. The BPA. This item is not there. No, this is there, sir. One not one. This, this is there, and uh, the another BPA. This item is there. That item may not be there in one not one at all. I'm, I'm have a doubt. That item may not be there in one not one at all. Item may not be there. If the item is there, it has to come now. Fine, you know, see. 
the item having a problem now the price has to come from the vba basically now if you see here in this case what is happening the price is getting freezed no uh, can you put the quantity uh, you are given a discount of what uh, uh, 10% for the quantity how much it is uh, not one thank go that so we will not see we will not try to add it the is coming that means no it's coming is it no oh, no now i understood the reason sir if you give in the item level the list price ah that has to come why yes. see item list price why that is missing now fine so 101 onwards only you have given a discount now fine so yes. items price is also maybe uh, what happens is not visible on the bpa basically that may be yeah maybe i because uh, the item uh, level the list price is not there for uh, the first item yeah, yeah. for the second item i have given the list price at the item level see and the bpa itself what happens on the line level you must have some price basically fine that is why it is not coming and the line level itself we have a price to be i mean you put 201 and then see whether you are getting 8 8 dollar or not you put the 201 put a 201 no actually i have one doubt there is this price in particular right and you may so it is coming now fine yeah mm indama -hmm. you see if you put 201 it is coming if you put one quantity quantity is one quantity is one now one and then give a tap then the list price is coming no is it is only eight, 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 okay that's what i'm saying so the list price is coming so the price is not there on 101 can you go to 101 and then make a query fine you now come out of it this is no solved actually for you fine mm -hmm. you go to the uh, purchase agreement of 101 now you go to the uh, go to the okay what done and then come out of it now you will mm -hmm. see what is the mistake on the 101 you query the 101 no in the 101 at the item level i believe the list price has to be given the bpa itself the price is not there that is what my doubt is no no bpa price is there sir i'll show you just show you you will see now the numbers the price may not be there actually sorry one not one because one not two is having the price one not one may not be having the price frankly on it go down Is there, right, sir? Is there, yeah. The price is there, yeah, given now. But I don't know why it's not coming actually. And if you see here, if I go to the price uh, edit, the price breaks are also there. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Why are you editing it actually? It should not edit. The action will create a change. You have to go via details to see. If you edit it, what happens? It will not create a change order, and then the change order needs to be approved actually. Oh. Okay. Do not go for edit when you want to see now. Fine. So you must have the basic discipline first of all. That is really important. Oh, you are clicking on it now. Again, you have gone to the edit mode now. Fine, that is not a correct thing. The field, if you edit it, what happens? It will be again submitted for approval. Remember, fine. What is? Oh God, so many. Fine, it is location specific. Remember, why you have gone this much of an entry there? Fine. I did not give sir. This I gave only one or two. I gave one and two. I don't know how it be created this many. One one. There are multiple things are there. There is some mistake somewhere here now. Fine, that is why what happens? About hundred quantity. I given a discount of ten now. One second, one second. It is for P ninety nine lock one now. Fine. It is for that. Is it? Is the all location specific actually? Fine. Yeah. All the entries are there. And then uh, there are multiple entries which just got formed. There's some mistake somewhere. Can you delete those entries? Soon? We'll not see whether it comes or not. Anyway, click on it. One of the entries. Yeah, I think we have to delete this. Yeah. You're deleting both now. Fine. Why? No, no, no. Why you're deleting both? You have to select one and then do it now. Fine. Yeah, only one I have selected, sir. Yeah, select it. Fine. See now, there's only one is selected, and then delete. Yeah. It. you cannot delete this price because it was previously approved enter the end date for the price back that is what it is saying fine you not yeah. so put end date on this now fine put end date no start date and end date i can't give end date you click on it now fine you are able to do the end date now no the end date also it's not editable at all no end date also is not editable somewhere some mistake has come up and not editable <clears throat> maybe this action edit no no edit here First of all, while viewing it, you should never go into edit mode at all. Fine, please have a very good way of navigating it now. Fine, otherwise, what happens? It needs to be approved now. Fine, it has already gone for this now. So go for approve again. Fine, click on cancel, <coughs> cancel, and then or okay or okay or whatever. It is. I think cancel. I don't think approval we have to go for approval because we did not do any changes. No, give a, give a description then give approval now. Fine, no, so because another change order is in the process now. Fine, on the left hand side description has to be given now. Fine, there is a mandatory mark now. Fine, go up top. Please, please, fine. You, no, what happens? Do a thing in a very systematic manner. First of all, how the system behaves must be known to you. Mm -hmm. so, uh, approve. Uh, you click on submit for approval. It is automatic approval only, na? No? Yes, sir. No, it has to get approved. The change order has been submitted for approval. <clears throat> 
so that is the reason that what happens there are two different lines and then some conflict is happening because of which it is not agreeing and now you go to the requisition area and then now again populate it you should never go into what uh, the in order mode at all remember let us say if the uh, thing has to be approved by four people and then by mistake you have gone to edit mode then what do you have to do you have to get approval from everybody yeah yeah so you must be on the view mode only and not on the action edit mode at all this will be a problem in the field if you do like this now here here it's okay in the test environment we can do in any fashion it's okay now you go there you put that item over here and then see to it that the location is also coming properly now fine because it's location specific actually this is the item the bpa <clears throat> i not yeah this is the first item okay click on it and then change it to software and in the bottom change the location of and location is what just one second again the bottom go down go down say so location is p99 lock the default location is uh, this only sir p99 lock okay, okay, one okay okay location specific discounts only fine go that one now yeah. then go up now <clears throat> i don't know why the price is not because of so many you put the bpa number make it as a bpa and then move it now <clears throat> one not one for one quantity is now is coming you see now no, is coming so one not one you give go for one not one quantity Then the prices to come as eight. That's what. Don't know what we did. So automatically, and then what happens? You can, if you want, you can even make a change. Right? The requester has got the power to change, override the prices given by the BPM. Yes, so this completes everything uh, as far as what happens. Uh, the field customization is concerned, and then the BPA is now showing you two uh, out of two. What happens? It does not become four lines. I don't know how it has become. And then the previous time, what happens? It was not coming. Now it's coming at least now. Yeah. And this portion I was not getting, sir. This portion is there, right? Uh, for it, no man. You need one extra role for this now. You query on the uh, zero one uh, there in the main. Uh, Why you are going out now? Which one, sir? No, you told that it is not coming, na? Yeah, that that uh, that no. In the video, you are told, right, sir? This video, the five two five five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was working on vision now. Fine. In the vision, there is a role which is associated with the fine one uh, contract. Uh, Uh, what happens? Uh, one uh, catalog administrator. Can you give the role now? Fine, go there. We'll not see. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah give the role. You are very fast, but what happens? Uh, the speed has to be justified. Basically, fine. Your speed is not justified. Yeah, go to the security console now. Yeah, yeah. Security console. This is not the way to go to security console. No, no. I, I go to through different routes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. You are going in a different manner. Okay, fine. In the that manner also, can you? And then. You go to the users now. We are in roles now. We right? are users. Okay, fine. Yeah, put your user. Okay. Open it up and then add the role. Catalog administrator, something like that. Okay. You open up and then edit and then add the catalog administrator. That is for the self-service procurement actually. Only when you give it, what happens? It will all be visible actually. Fine. Catalog <coughs> procurement catalog administrator, something like that. Not sure about it. You give procurement. Or what about that? Catalog administrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one you give. Or give it. Click on add role. Now give it done, and then give a save and close, and then exit out of it. Mm -hmm. Then log out and log in. You have to run that LDAP sir. No need. Ah, uh, there is also sometimes required. Sometimes what happens? It also is also a long problem. No log out and log in. No fine. Procurement catalog administrator is a must for civil service procurement. No. Oh, okay. And then you may even have to give the data access also. I'm not sure about it. You talk to Babu. Babu knows it very well, right? You put a, you know Babu's mail ID now. Find the uh, whatever the phone number also you have now in a WhatsApp. You can click on it and then you can now make a personal call on this. Babu. Yes, sir. He is expert on this now. Now you go there and then you go to the requisition area and then see one not one whether it is coming or not. Yes, sir. Put one not one over there. Yeah, one not one or one not two. Anything comes with. Still not coming. Maybe you try after some time because what happens? Otherwise, you run the LDAP and then try. <coughs> Once we give the procurement catalog administrator, what happens? It will be showing you this. Thing. Maybe any data role has to be given. Can be required. You talk to Babu. Fine. Okay, sir. You talk to Babu. Babu will not tell you all these things. Right? Yes. Why it is not coming? My BPA is not coming. Right? At least your problem of what putting your BPA on the requisition line is solved. Actually, yes, sir. This it may need a data access, or otherwise, what happens? You run an LDAP also. Maybe okay. try it, and then once when you are succeeding it, 
please uh, give a uh, what happens a posting on the uh, on the our whatsapp group website yes sir yes sir yes sir thank you sir that's good beautiful yeah. and then any any issues what happens you raise it fine somebody will uh, come and assist you such yes sir thank you so much thank you pradeep and thank you surya okay man yeah and another one thing uh, yeah. marriage functional area catalog uh, actually the item is assigned like particular category doesn't matter bp is there na bp is going to override everything okay 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 item okay. assigning to the particular functional area is not correct bp is a master document okay okay pradeep any other doubts no sir i think that's it not fine no doubt nana thank you very much nana mm-hmm. got it thank you sir i saw you were paced today Huh? <laughs> good that I saw your face today. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. Fine, you understood yeah. it. So this is also okay. I was I was feeling that like uh, there was no class, so I was feeling something is missing. Yeah, I'm always there. Whenever you're getting stuck in the field, also what happens? You can always call me. And then yeah, I, because of this kind of, of I think students, um, then we'll nobody will be able to give this kind of service. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sure, Nana. Thank you very much, Nana. Thank you so much. Hope so you're sharing now. <clears throat> you can now go there and stop your sharing now thank should we leave nana yeah you can leave now fine go there fine i am now going to post this on the discussion form now this recording will be posted on the discussion form because this is for the past students also what happens i will be doing it now. yes sure nana thank you very much nana bye 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 nana bye nana bye pradeep bye